Boyfriend Bush, girly. No, that's not gonna happen. She's married. <laughs> Please no. Hello everyone, welcome back to my star sign legacy challenge. This is episode 29. We are here with Olive this morning, nice and bright and early. She woke up um, at 4am and she is just preparing some breakfast for everyone. And she has made this surface really filthy. So she is gonna come and clean that in a second. Um, everyone else is in bed asleep at the moment, but she is up bright and early. And we've got a little Tomatoa who I'd completely forgotten about because this is actually my first video I'm recording in over a month um so I've had quite a lot going on um but things are slowly starting to settle now I'm hoping to be a little bit more you know consistent with uploads again we'll see how it all goes but that's my hope at least um but yeah because of that I'd completely forgotten that we adopted a cat recently who is just being absolutely adorable so we'll come over and probably interact with him shortly but for now she's just gonna have herself some breakfast she doesn't actually have work today but Bryce does and all of the kids are going off to school. So she is thinking like, what can I do today? Um, because, you know, she's she's pretty much mastered everything she wanted to. She's still going with her like music, but she doesn't really just want to spend the whole day at home. Um, of course, she's leaving her bowl. This is just Olive. <laughs> this is, I've missed her, I've missed her. <laughs> um, but she doesn't want to spend the whole day just like, just doing one thing she's very you know active minded and everything she's very sociable as well so she is thinking why don't i actually like make some friends in the area i met a couple of people um recently you know and everyone else is out the house today so i'll see if anyone is free you know that we met i'm thinking we could go and say hi to sarah and daryl because these two were created for me by my friend shermie and olive to get along really really well with them they are neighbors we have got amazing compatibility with sarah and they have loads of really good first impressions Impressions and sentiments with each other so I was thinking that could be really nice if we you know spend a little bit of time with them today so I think that's what we'll do with Olive while everyone else is out of the house. Little Paris is the first one up this morning of the children he is going to go and take a shower but his needs are actually doing pretty well and then he does want to play video games on a gaming console so I thought maybe he could come downstairs and play some games down here before school we'll see what the other kids want to get up to as well maybe he can play a multiplayer game with his mum because at the moment she is just she's just playing with the cat she is just chilling out over here so it'd be nice if they can play video games together we'll see what the um the other two wants to do when they get up as well look how cute he is and his little dungarees one thing that olive also did is um actually get them their bikes oh he likes video gaming oh perfect i love that and she likes video gaming too playing with her son she's like mm, i actually really enjoy this but um i did actually get them bikes and olive is going to give the triplets their bikes maybe we can teach them how to ride and cycle over the weekend potentially because it is actually part of Florence's aspiration to ride a bike for four hours um and I'm pretty sure one of the other kids also needs to ride a bike or learn to ride a bike but oh my Florence had a nightmare. Florence had a bleak nightmare about achieving everything she ever wanted in life. A good thing that'll never happen. What? <laughs> had a kid have like a nightmare like that before that's so funny she is getting up to go and play some dolls she's got a bit of a wobbly tooth but she also wants to level up in her motor skill and play on the monkey bars so i'm sure we can get um around to doing that at some point um but oliver's got her video gaming up and little phoenix you should probably also wake up you have got school soon and you definitely need to shower before then he's feeling sad bless him um bryce you should get up and he is actually going to go to work today because i want to spend a bit of time with oliver he wants to oh, dude he wants to ask cody to be his boyfriend i don't know how to i don't know bryce no that's not happening he is literally married to rose dude i'm loving the sliders that phoenix is wearing in the shower this morning absolutely iconic but i noticed he also wants to start a cross stitch project as well so i love that he's like no no he's creative in like a physical way he likes to make things and do stuff like that so maybe we can get something like that for him to do at some point as well but he is all dressed and ready to go to school now paris has already headed off and um florence is going as well and so is bryce so um yeah olive she's feeling very playful because she loves 
lost <laughs> she lost her son i love that she's just thinking about rosemary that and she is just really calling at sarah up to see if she wants to That's create a hangout and you know just spend a bit of time with each other today and it looks like she has agreed and while on the phone sarah has suggested you know that we maybe head over to her place and chill out there so we are going to meet up at the neo residence which is just over the road from where olive is living olive is just greeting sarah and saying hi to her at the moment she is she's learned that she's a nanny so she must work in like evenings or something like that we're just having a bit of a chat with her at the moment um we've learned that she likes the color black and we're giving her another hug <laughs> um and now she's making her jump right okay um we are going to though come inside and see her house um and just come and have a little chat in here she's like oh come inside we don't have to spend the whole time chatting outside like you know come on in they have gained a sentiment she's like you're so fun to hang out with i really hope you're enjoying you know spending a bit of time with me as well but yeah come in come in help yourself to any food anything like that she is a generous sim and then olive is like she's noticing all the kids stuff and everything and so she's like oh so um do you like do you have children as well we're gonna ask her about her family and you know just just get to know her a little bit because we met sarah and we met daryl the other day but she's like noticing that this is obviously like a family home so she's like oh do you have children um and she says she's married to daryl and she's got two children called kaya and Caius. and she's like oh they go to the school not um not too far from here i just dropped them off this morning and then olive's like oh i have kids there as well i've got my uh my triplets so she's talking about them and they're like oh they probably uh, they probably go to school together they might know each other i wonder if they've like they've met each other if they're classmates it's really really bright in this room actually i'm gonna see i don't know if i can dim the lights because i don't know i don't own this house i can't dim the lights we're just gonna have to deal with it it's a little bit bright olive clearly told an incredible story because sarah is feeling amused by a story that olive has just told her but they are they're just chatting you know getting to know each other a little bit we're not going to make a flirtatious joke um but we have learned that she is generous and adventurous so maybe she is like oh i traveled really far to come here like you know um this is quite adventure for us we've recently moved to the area and i was like oh my goodness me too like i've not been here all that long and she's a music lover as well oh these two definitely get along <laughs> these two are definitely definitely get along and i love that we do need to make a smooth apology though so maybe olive said something um she overstepped a little bit but i think you know they are probably gonna talk Wiccan Bush, girly, no, that's not gonna happen. She's married. <laughs> Please no. Um, but I do think they'll probably talk a little bit about, you know, their children and everything. So we'll gossip a little bit about the neighbours. Um, and then I think Oliver's be like, I don't actually know if my kids, you know, are making friends at school. They're a little bit shy. They're not um they're not quite as confident as I was as a kid. Well, a little Paris is, but the other two, Phoenix and Florence, they've not really made that many friends since moving here. Um or since starting school recently um so you know why don't tomorrow we all hang out or something you know like it's saturday it's the weekend maybe we could have the kids you know get to know each other maybe they already know each other at school but i just think it'll be quite nice um and i think sarah's down for that we've learned that she likes skiing so maybe she's hung out in mount Abbey as well what are you doing that she hates so much because she keeps getting bored <laughs> but yeah, I think it'd be quite nice if, um, you know, if the kids could all get to know each other tomorrow. So we're gonna do a little play date with everyone. Like, as you can see, they've got their little twin beds over here and some toys. Um, and they've got a little shared garden space because they do live in like a rental. So someone else does actually live here and upstairs as well. So there's quite a few, <laughs> quite a few um, Sims on this unit. I don't know if there's any other like families or any other children, but yeah. Um, yeah, the kids haven't really made all that many friends since starting school. So I think Olive's a bit like, I always loved having friends. Um, and so she's like, I want my kids to have friends as well. So she's going to kind of like, not force friendships. Because, you know, if they don't want to become friends, they won't become friends. But um, no, we're not doing that. Um, but she's like, it would be nice if they have the opportunity to make friends. And I, <laughs> we have to keep doing smooth apologies because Olive keeps saying things. <laughs> like, keep like, I don't know if they're offending Sarah or if she's just, you know, got a different sort of like humour or something. <laughs> Girl. I know you've not weirded in a while. And is she feeling unflirty? No. I think she's trying to be... Um, a little bit flirty with Sarah because she just cannot help herself and this girl she is um yeah she I don't think she really uh follows typical romantic boundaries so <laughs> look at this I think we should discuss healthy relationships and just be like look our healthy relationship is going to be platonic there's not going to be any romance between us even if I is she attracted to her 
Because I didn't think she was. Yeah, she's not neither attracted nor unattracted. So I don't know what all of that is about. I think she's just feeling like she needs a little bit of love. Like she is over here wanting to start a new relationship and flirt with someone. But it's not going to be Sarah. And even though they keep hugging each other. Oh, we've learned that Sarah actually also likes fitness, which makes sense. And wellness. <laughs> if she likes skiing and everything. And now Olive. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. We're not going to give her a massage. But I was thinking we could potentially see if she wants to go on a jog with us. She says, sure, Olive. Let's do something fun. And she has changed into her exercise clothes. So they are heading out now. It is a little bit cooler today. There's a chance of thunderstorms. But it was thunderstorming all night. And now it's not. So I think they're like, let's make the most of this because we've not been able to get out and do our exercise for a little while and you know Olive wants to explore the world a little bit see what is around so yeah they're just gonna enjoy the nice day do a little bit of fitness with each other um we've already got a silver I was gonna say date <laughs> it's not a date friendly hangout um I'm not too worried about getting a gold one I just wanted to get to know her and we have because we've learned her job we have learned about her children we've learned all of her um her her traits um so yeah I think we've done a good job and they plan to you know hang out again tomorrow but I think Olive will want to get home um to see the kids shortly though all we'll get home at three o'clock this is such a beautiful world isn't it look at these two just jogging over the bridge together oh look at that I think we live near here don't we is this are we jogging towards where we live I don't know I'm still not used to this world but oh, it's so gorgeous isn't it there's there's a house here um and oh there's our house we must have jogged past it but it started to rain um so we will probably stop jogging um <laughs> we should probably head back because yeah it's we're gonna show her pictures of Selva Dorada oh I love that um but we don't actually have too long left so I think we're actually gonna end the hangout now and be like I had a really nice time hanging out with you but you know it's just started to thunderstorm so I'm gonna head back home now she'll make her own way back home but yeah we have nice nice good workout maybe they can hang out with each other a bit more go on jogs together but yeah I think this is probably a good sign to head home because I do not want her getting struck by lightning especially after what happened in Sims Boo series yeah I'm not having that happen I'm not having that happen <laughs> the kids have all just got home from school they are feeling terrified because they have just got back in the middle of a thunderstorm <laughs> look at them bless them um but yeah they're all <laughs> running in now Florence um she needs some food so come over and grab some food Paris is bored um but also hungry and then Phoenix he's feeling tense why are you feeling tense oh he's losing confidence bless him oh that's so sad I would like for Olive to come and give the kids um their bikes even though we can't actually actually um we can't actually ride them because you know the weather is awful but I would like to give them their bikes so they've got them and then hopefully that will help um that will help Phoenix's mood a little bit but they're just helping themselves to some fruit salad that Olive made earlier for some reason they didn't have lunch today at school so I'm not too happy about that. <laughs> Oliver's just come in to ask the kids how their school day was. And Florence is just cleaning up. She's taken after her dad. Definitely not her mum. <laughs> um, but I think Florence, she seems to have a good day at school. She is learning from her mistakes. Whereas Paris had a bit of a boring day. Class just dragged on and on. Um, and then Phoenix, he had an embarrassing day. Oh, he dropped a tray in front of everyone. <laughs> Bless him. Bryce just got home, but he did not make very much money. I thought he would do a good job. Oh, and it looks like he's working tomorrow. So hopefully um, he can get promotion tomorrow. But Daryl actually wants to come over. So I guess we can say yes and he can come and hang out with us. You know, we were hanging out with his wife all day. So maybe she told him um, how things went. He's like, oh, I'd love to get to know them as well. So he is going to come over. Um, Florence is talking about hating the thunderstorm. But I would like to, while it is in my mind, give them their bikes. As the oldest triplet, Florence is first. She is getting a, her present first. She's like, for me, it's not even my birthday. What did you get? And she's like, well, I thought this weekend I could teach you all to ride your bikes, um, your brand new bikes. And she's like, oh, thanks, mum. But I am exhausted, so I'm going to go and sleep. <laughs> so I'm going to have Florence come upstairs. Um, Daryl's just let himself in, right? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, she's going to come in and just have a little bit of a nap. And then I don't want to miss this. She is giving Paris his as well. And he's like, oh, I get a gift as well. Of course you do. All three. You can't give one triplet gift and not the other. <laughs> so she is just giving Paris his now. And hopefully he is appreciating that. And then we'll come in and give a little Phoenix. We're going to give him a little kiss on the cheek because he wasn't feeling too happy earlier. And just let him know, you know, just because he's the youngest doesn't mean 
that he, where he's loved any less, he's still getting a gift as well. So we're going to come over and give him his bike. Oh, so she's just giving him a little kiss. And have they got a close dynamic? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll give them that. And she's like, here you go. Don't think you were left out. You're going to get a gift as well. And this is the helmet for your brand new bike. And they are all outside. And we will definitely teach you um, over the weekend or at some point. It's like, oh, thanks, mom. I really appreciate it. But yeah, we're, we're not going to do it now because it is a thunderstorm storm i am gonna see if these two can chat maybe downstairs and let florence nap in peace <laughs> you know hang out um not in our children's bedroom uh but he isn't looking too happy at the moment so i'd like to see what's up with him because he's not got the happiest of faces on right now yeah he is looking pretty frustrated oh his umbrella broke on the way over here fair enough he did leave the house in a thunderstorm so we're gonna share some calm words be like it's not the end of the world you can always get another one don't worry about it i've got one you can borrow if you want to take it on the way home so you're not um you're not gonna get wet or anything um but yeah, we also need to learn a little bit about daryl too so we're gonna come and discuss some interests and i think he appreciates bryce offering him an umbrella although he's still looking pretty uh pretty tense We've learnt that Daryl likes video gaming. Amazing. Olive is just um, fixing the, um, the stereo over here. And we've also learnt that Bryce, uh, not Bryce, that Daryl is a joke smith at um, a nightclub, which is amazing. He's family oriented. We're learning so much. But I noticed that little Phoenix was also tired. So he's come for a nap. Whereas Paris was just over here um, experimenting on the, um, the little science table and Olive has come over to chat with him and learn that he is a bit mischievous <laughs> which she probably resonates with a little bit he does actually want to be mischievous it's because he is a goofball so he's just being a little bit mischievous with Olive she is like oh my gosh why would you say that to me I thought she liked mischief but she might not actually so um, Olive might not be the best person to be mischievous with but you know he's pretty happy because he ticked off that one and now he just, he's just like maybe I should just joke with mum instead of uh, be mischievous with her I'll save the mischief for dad <laughs> um but it looks like florence is up now and she's like um i want to go for another nap <laughs> no you don't need to go for another nap why don't you come over here work carefully on your school project as that is something that you didn't want to do and then she wants to play in the rain and be sad for two hours <laughs> right okay i'm gonna have olive prepare some dinner even though no one is really that hungry other than her i mean bryce could eat but all the kids ate when they got home from school so they're not overly hungry but you know it's good to have some food in um so phoenix he is still napping when he wakes up we'll see if there's anything he fancies doing daryl is just over here playing in the kids room <laughs> right maybe he's a little bit of a childish goofball sim as well but oh Paris he's woken up thinking about his embarrassing day at school but he's gonna come and chat with his uh with his brother and this random strange man that is in his house but Bryce fancied reading a book so he has decided to read the first unicorn interesting choice okay you know what if that's what makes you happy bryce paris has learned about daryl's financial status and daryl seems to be doing okay paris why are you asking these things that's so that's so weird and he's like yeah i should probably get going now your kid's asking me some weird questions so i guess i've uh, overstayed my welcome a little bit oh my god oh i love this olive has come upstairs to help florence with her project she's like oh yeah thanks mom i think it's coming together really nicely now she knows her mom's a genius so she's probably roped her in to help her a little bit because they're not like doing bad at school but they are really c grades so she's like mom uh, can i have a little bit of help with my project please and she's actually getting her creativity up and we've learned that she likes video gaming as well um so yeah i think what does she actually need to do she needs to get her motor and her social up so i mean chatting with her mum is definitely gonna get her social up and then once we um do the bike riding she also can have help riding the bike and it has stopped raining but i'm not gonna do it now i'm gonna save it maybe for maybe for sunday especially if we're hanging out with oh it's a thunderstorm tomorrow how annoying i think we'll go to the community center i was thinking the park originally but i think the community center might be the best idea if it's thunderstorming because then they can do things inside um and not worry but then if it gets you know the weather gets a bit better we can go outside do some playing out there maybe do some bike riding then but otherwise i think we'll do most of the bike riding on sunday and we have got all of next week it's actually winter 
to fest next week as well, which is crazy to think how quickly that's come around. Um, and then the children will age up at the end of next week. So we've still got plenty of time with them, but I can't believe that they'll be teenagers soon. It's crazy, crazy to think about. I love that Paris is still over here doing the science lab. I never expected this to be the sort of thing that he would be interested in, but he decided to come and do this all by himself, which is really, really interesting. It's working on his mental skill, which is something he needs to work on for his aspiration anyway. But Florence was able to get her project done and it is excellent quality. Thanks to her mum. So she's going to come and give her a hug and then head off to bed, I think, because she is pretty tired. She's like, thanks for helping with my project, mum. I really appreciate it. Oh, look at them. It's so cute. Well, Phoenix is just out here playing with Tomatoa, but it has started um, thunderstorming again. So I think I will have him come inside and maybe just head off to sleep. He's become good friends with him, bless. Um, but his next part of his aspiration is to play pretend in the treehouse. And that was it. I was thinking on Sunday, we could potentially go and visit our family and see them. And then we could play in the treehouse that they've got. But it's been a little while since we've seen them at their house in San Sequoia. It'd be really cute for the triplets as well. And there'll be more adults then to help them with learning to ride their bikes. So I think that is what we'll do over the weekend. But Paris is literally, he's still over here um, doing all of this. Tomato has come in. He's like, what are you doing? Everyone else is in bed. <laughs> he's got his logic to level two i think i might let him get his mental up and then go off to sleep but like he's still just over here experimenting i did not ask him to do this even though he's exhausted he's like i'm gonna keep going oh pumpkins passed away i think that's one of the dogs i don't actually know which one yeah because there was pumpkin and spice is that the one that Nathan Noel had? I really hope not because they'll be so sad when we see them. We'll have to get them another dog. We'll get them another dog. The kids have all woken up at the same time this morning because they're all stinky and needing the toilet. Luckily, we do have three bathrooms. The Phoenix is like, I really want to go to Grandma and Granddad's and play at the treehouse. So we're going to pin that one in. Um, and then Phoenix, he wants to, get, wants to play some video games. And then Florence, she wants to play on a spaceship. Um, and analyze a book. Okay, interesting. Well, I don't actually know if there's a spaceship thing that we can play on, but we'll, we'll get you to be able to play with something. It is a shame that it's been raining so much because we have not been able to play in this garden very much. Like we have this toddler pool, um, which I mean, big kids can still go in, but they're not going to in the middle of thunderstorms. We had like swings and like a water bucket and stuff like that, but that's okay. There's plenty of other stuff to do. And I do feel like the, um, or at least, Florence and Phoenix are a lot more like homebody. Whereas I think Paris probably enjoys going out the most out of all of them as he is adventurous. Um, but you know, I feel like he does obviously enjoy spending time at home as well. He likes to play his video games, but I feel like especially Florence and Phoenix, they, they love spending time at home, <laughs> just like staying in the house. But Bryce is up. He is going to be heading off to work today and hopefully he will be getting a promotion. I noticed he wanted to chat with Daryl as well, which is really sweet. Like they made, they made good friends. It'd be nice to hang out with, um, hang out with everyone today. So once all the kids are up and ready and all their needs are nice and high, um, we'll be heading out, but Paris is like, I want to be a ninja when I've grown up, which completely checks out, especially because his mum's a secret agent. <laughs> um, but I think she's going to find a ninja to train you, basically like, oh, you know, if there's something you want to do, maybe I'll train you up one day. <laughs> Olive is just helping herself to a little cupcake this morning before we head out. All of the kids are just, you know, chilling out. Florence is watching um, the Between TV. This is some like tween TV, whereas Paris is back to his dolls. And then Phoenix is over here listening to music. I feel like he um, it was definitely a bit more musical, just like his mum. Like he loved to dance when he was a toddler. So that'd be really cute if he gets like the dance machine trait when he ages up. But I think we will probably see now if um, if Sarah's ready to hang out with the kids. Although I think Phoenix is asking his mum some advice as well. He's like, I got a present I think is dumb. I hope that's not the bike that your mum gave you. Maybe it's like a void credit card or something. And he's like, can I give it to a friend? Or can I trade it or anything? I think she'll be like, let's, yeah, just give it to someone else. You know, someone, like, someone else will appreciate it then. But I think everyone else is, you know, we're already our needs are all nice and high. So we're going to. I'm gonna head out and meet Sarah and her kids. So before we actually head out, we did decide to come over to actually um, say hi while we're here because we do actually need to know the children before we go out with them. So we've got Caius over here. I think um, Oliver's gonna come over and give him a cheerful introduction. 
Um, and then we've got Kaya over here as well. I'm hoping I'm saying my name around right. Kaius and Kaya. So we're gonna give them both a cheerful introduction to be like, oh your mom's told me so much about you both. Um Kaius didn't really seem to like us very much. Um it's like we just brought our kids over. We thought maybe you could guys like have like a little play date today. So oh it looks like um Kaya seemed to like us at least. Oh, they get negative. What is that all about? But Kaya thinks that we are fun to be around. I didn't know children got first impressions, but you know, at least she likes us. And then Kaya's, we didn't get first impression, but we have got good compatibility. So I'm gonna have all the kids come over. Um, let's do a Tomorani introduction actually with them all, because we are here in Tomorani. So we're gonna all come over and say hi to Kaya's, and then we'll all come over and say hi to Kaya afterwards. Oh, well, these two have decided they don't want to come and say hi, so Phoenix is instead. They're just chatting with each other. Um, it's just really sweet they're hanging out with each other but i do want them to also come and say hi to the twins oh and they're all just singing this is um this is a little bit hectic <laughs> but they are actually saying hi now which is sweet so it'll be good to you know get to know them a little bit daryl is being such a sweet dad and keeps hugging kaya it's not like the biggest space we are kind of all a little bit cramped but i think we do actually know them all now they've all like said hi and everything and i think we're like well let's get out then shall we i know it's a thunderstorm but we'll go to the community center um, and you guys can all hang out and play together there. Um, one family has just adopted four cats, so love that for them. But it's almost midday, so I think we are going to head out and get yeah, what is going on. They are loving Talk Like a Pirate Day today. Olive has made her way into the music room and has decided to play a little bit of piano. It's been a while since she's had a go on a grand piano. Um, it looks like Daryl is actually playing um, cymbals by himself. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Florence is just over here. She's playing pretend with um, Kaya at the moment. This is sweet. Look at them. I feel like Florence is uh, enjoying it a little bit more than Kaya, who is um, hitting them on the floor. Um, but then we've got Paris. Um, where's Paris gone off to? Oh, he's out here. He's just playing on the monkey bars. It was something he actually wanted to do, but it is a thunderstorm. So why don't we actually come inside and let's come and watch this puppet show. I'm not sure who's doing this. It might be Kaya's actually and then phoenix is just doing some experimenting so we're just you know spending a bit of time with everyone it'll be cute if we could get to know the twins a little bit more as well at the moment florence is the only one actually playing with them but i suppose if this is caius that paris is over here <laughs> he's watching his little puppet show oh florence has just become good friends with kaya already that was really quick like their friendship is already almost completely full which i love that i'd forgotten that sarah was super active because she has just decided to come and take herself over and do a little bit of boxing she's a very very active sim and we love that for her but um i might actually create a group for the kids and then they can like do things together i think that'd be really sweet but it looks like kaya is coming over to talk with paris as well um i love that and olive is getting her piano up to level six which is excellent and this is definitely kaya's in here at the moment bless him but yeah i like that kaya's just come over to have a chat with paris all by herself while these two are just busy chat with each other but he's got his social up to level four at the moment all he needs to do now is learn to ride a bike for the next part of his aspiration which we will definitely get to paris has just learned the kai as a music lover as well which is really sweet i like that we're all really into music <laughs> and olive has actually just gained the outdoorsy lifestyle which I hadn't expected from her but i like that um, and now Kaya is good friends with Paris as well. Kaya is really getting along with these two. Oh, but Florence has come over because she likes piano. I hadn't actually realised that was a like of hers, but she's come to watch her mum and she's like, I really enjoy watching my mum do piano. That is so sweet. Oh, Phoenix wanted to chat with Kaya as well, but she um, she decided to leave the room and now he's all by himself. But I, as I say, I don't think he minds that so much. He's going to play in the rain, which I don't think is the best idea considering it's a thunderstorm. And I think he's realising that now, like, what am I doing out here? Why am I outside in a thunderstorm um you should probably yeah go inside <laughs> no he still wants to play in the rain no let's not do that let's go do something else instead okay so the thunderstorm has stopped and it's only light rain at the moment so i am going to take this opportunity to have all of the kids come outside and play together uh, <laughs> paris is just uh, squatting on the toilet at the moment but then yeah i think it'd be nice if we can all go outside and play while the weather's not too bad okay for some reason they can't all play together which is very odd so maybe we'll come over and we'll come and play on the monkey bars 
kids as well. But yeah, for some reason they can all do this, which I've definitely had more than two children playing on the pirate ship together before. Um, like little Caius keeps trying, but he can't. Um, but Perry is calling Olive for a chat. He's like, it'll be really great to see you. And she's probably gonna say, oh, I'm going to mum and dad's tomorrow. Do you wanna come and, you know, you can come over as well with me, a new little baby. I think that'd be sweet. But um, Bryce has just been promoted to a street guitarist. We didn't get loads of money, but you know, it's something. So he is really happy with his little promotion that he's got. He did want to chat with Daryl, who is here somewhere. So if we can find him, we can have a chat with him too. I'm not too sure what's going on. At the moment, Florence is the only one not staying on this. Um, Kaya just keeps walking around and Paris just keeps scooting along the top. So I don't know what's going on with the kids um, and playing and stuff like that at the moment. Maybe we can come and play a little bit of hopscotch as well. I know Paris really enjoyed that last time. He can play hopscotch with all of them at the same time. So we're going to give that a go instead. And hopefully that will actually work out. But Olive is also increasing her entrepreneur skill over here playing. Because she keeps getting tips. Um, but I am going to have her stop. Because she does need to have a chat with oh, Perry. And then she is desperate for the toilet. Finally, the first thing that they can all do together. They are having a go at hopscotch at the moment. Caius is going first. And everyone else is just observing him. So hopefully he's gonna manage it all right. I know that um, the triplets can get a little bit competitive with this, so I'm intrigued to see how the twins are as well. If they're just as competitive as our kids, but Paris is like, oh, I'm bored. When is it my go? But it looks like Caius actually managed it by the looks of it. I think I think that's how hopscotch works. <laughs> I think so. He's managed to make it all the way to the end, and now Paris is like, oh, my go at last. And he is pretty much an expert at this point. I love that Phoenix is so concerned for his brother. Look at that. Whereas Florence is like, hmm, are you going to manage it? And Bryce is coming out. He's looking pretty miserable <laughs> at the moment. But I think Paris just failed. Paris, I think you're normally better than this. <laughs> but now it's Phoenix is going. Look at Paris shaking his head. He's like, oh, I'm normally really good. I just embarrass myself in front of my new friends. I hope, I hope Phoenix does better than I did. <laughs> oh, look at the twins cheering him on. That is really, really sweet. There goes Olive. I'm not sure what she's up to at the moment. Um, and I'm not too sure where Paris went off to. He was definitely here. Maybe he got a bit upset and decided to leave <laughs> because he'd embarrassed himself. Was we'll he? Is it Florence? It's Kaya's go. So Florence will be at the last one. I don't know how they determine who wins this. I think they just do it for fun. <laughs> oh, Paris has decided to watch from up here. Apparently he didn't want to stand with everyone else. Maybe he's like, it's um, it's actually sheltered here, so I'm not getting quite as wet as you guys, because it's still like lightly raining, um, but it's not as bad as it was earlier. But I think once Florence has had her go, we'll probably head home because the kids are pretty tired. And it's actually almost 7 p.m. So we've been here for quite a while. Oh, but it looks like um, Kaya might have, uh, might have accidentally fallen over there by the looks of it. Although she's still going, so maybe she didn't. Um, but yeah, once Florence has had her go, hopefully she does really well and doesn't embarrass herself like her brother did. <laughs> Sorry, Paris. He's normally really good at this. That's why I'm saying this. Um, and it's funny to be fair. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's see how little Florence does. She seems to be doing pretty well. Look at her go. They are all sopping wet though because they have been out in the rain all day. They didn't put their raincoats on. <laughs> um, but apparently Bryce dislikes mischief. I don't know who he's being mischievous with. It looks like Daryl, but I thought he liked mischief. Chief, but you know if he doesn't like mischief he doesn't want mischief okay fine <laughs> um but poor little phoenix he is desperate for the toilet olive is finding out about someone else's financial um status but we've all had a go on the hopscotch now it's getting quite late it's half past seven we've been out all day but it's been really nice to get to know the twins so it's nice that they've got friends um nearby so maybe we can hang out with them a little bit more but yeah i think we should probably uh head back home but i do actually think i will end the episode here thank you so much for for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like and comment down below and let me know what you think and if you haven't already please do subscribe it means so much to me and i will speak to you all in another video bye everyone